How you doing? This is Mike here. Um, thanks for joining me today. Um, I am the blessed owner of a 2003 Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul Class 5. Um, they don't make these anymore. Uh, it's called a Class 5 because it has a flame top and it's a grade it's a grade 5A top. Absolutely incredible. When you move it back and forth, it's 3D. You see depth in it. Um, it's got a hand-selected maple top on it, flame maple. It's got a one-piece hand-selected mahogany back, a one-piece hand-selected mahogany neck with a long tenon. Now, what the tenon is, if you don't know, is the part of the bottom of the neck that connects inside of the body like they built them in the old days in the 50s, the tenon in this goes all the way to the back of where the pickup cavity is. Um, this guitar, I, I read up on these, it's built like a 59 reissue. The only difference with this one and the 59 reissues is this has the 60s profile neck, which is a, uh, it's a thinner neck, it's faster. The 59s have a real thick baseball bat type of neck. This is a easier neck to play, it's faster. Um, and the body is what they call weight relieved. It's not chambered like the new ones. It's weight relieved and it's got nine holes drilled in the body uh, about that big and they do it right in this area underneath and it lightens it. It goes from 10 pounds to what this weighs which is 8 pounds. It's an 8 pound guitar. Um, it comes with a burst Gibson Burst Bucker Pro number two in the neck and the Burst Bucker Pro number three in the bridge. Um, these pickups are designed after the PAFs of the 50s, but um, with a hotter output tone. So it's made for more classic, sound, more uh, modern rock sounds, but also has the same tone as the vintage ones for that classic sound as well. Uh, it's just an absolutely stunning guitar. I'll, I will never need another Les Paul in my life after this one. Um, just absolutely incredible. I just want to give you a little demonstration of it. Um, I'm playing through a PV Bandit, which is the amp I happen to use most of the time. But with a guitar like this, I almost feel like the amp isn't even worthy for this guitar. But it's such a great amp, and I love it, so playing it through the Bandit. But anyway, let me give you a demonstration. Uh, this is the neck pickup, and we're clean. We're on the clean channel. Really nice and thick. This neck pickup is awesome. It, it, the burst bucker is, it, they're really nice. Beautiful sound, great jazz sound, just sweet. Um, let me play a little blues for you. doesn't pick up just how great these pickups sound, but awesome. I'm going to go in the middle position, these two, give you a nice kind of jazzy sound again. It's a, it's a beautiful sound, and I think with just adjusting the volume knobs, bringing the maybe the neck down a little bit in this, I can get a get a nice kind of rhythm sound for maybe a southern rocky kind of acoustic sort of stratty sound. Awesome thing about the guitar is the whole body vibrates. You can feel 
that it's really well constructed and one piece of the body's one piece, the next one piece, you can really feel the resonance in the body. It's very, very nice. Uh, I'm going to go to the bridge pickup. sound. Alright, what I'm going to do now is go to the overdrive channel and um, not going to have the gain up too high so you miss out on the clarity of the pickups. Um, just a little bit of gain but uh, so you get an idea of what that sounds like. Alright. Go to the bridge pickup first on this one. shop. Um, just craftsmanship at his finest. Sorry my playing was lame tonight, but just to give you an idea of how great this guitar is, um, I'll try to get close so you can get a better image of it. But we got the headstock and the neck and the body. And that's it. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for checking out the review and uh, if you ever can find a Class 5 Les Paul and try it out, Go for it. You won't be disappointed at all. Have a great day. Bye.